The term good has many uses. We might say, he is a good football player. This is a good coffee. It's a good thing the trains are on time. But in none of these cases does good have any moral implications. His being a good footballer does not in itself make him a good person. For that, he must act rightly. But why? Why should I do the right thing? Some might say it's a silly question because it is simply doing what is right to do. And if something is the right thing to do, it is simply what I ought to do. And there is no more to be said. But what is the notion of being bad? Put simply, being bad is bad. Some have thought that being bad or immoral can be good for a person, especially when we can get away with it. But there are some good reasons for thinking this is false. The most important reason is that being bad or immoral is self-disrespecting and it's hard to imagine being happy without self-respect. This all sounds well and good, but the puzzle pieces of self-respect Happiness and the concept of being good do not fit together neatly. Consider the saying, if a tree falls in the forest and no one is around to hear it, does it even make a sound? If I act in a way that I deem selfless or good, even if it makes me feel good, what is it without acknowledgement? We are inherently social beings. So if I clean a park or donate my time to philanthropy and no one is around to shake my hand or pat my back, how far can my self-encouragement take me? For many, a prerequisite of being good is to be acknowledged. If you're going through life unseen without words of appreciation or affirmation, a man will grow cold and apathetic to the world around him. To be truly good in the world, one must also possess the ability to see the good in it too.